So turning to wet, that's all people are concerned about. What is the weather going to be like later today, tonight? Over the weekend, it is going to be fantastic, Jim. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Oh thing. my! <laughs> I'll give you a gift card. Yes, I take it. Yes, I know you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is going to be fantastic. I'm telling you, we are in for a treat. Not only great baseball weather, but just great weather to be outside, walking the pet, maybe taking your kids to the game, to the I'm park. You. Whatever it may be, the tickets are only five thousand dollars. But yeah, take the kids to the park. Don't worry, Jim got it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and send you outside. A beautiful day at the beach. This is Atlantic County, Margate, one of the best beaches, if you ask me. Just a great shot, deep blue skies, a very calm ocean, and believe it or not, the ocean water temperature is still relatively warm. And as far as the eye can see, doesn't seem like anyone's at the beach. That's because everyone's going to be in South Philly tonight, whether you're heading to the ball game or you're heading to all the activities happening in South Philly, the weather will cooperate. We are in for just a treat of a day, and it already is quite nice out there. We're sitting at 67 degrees at the moment in the city of Brotherly Love. Notice how temps are pretty uniform at this hour. 60s in Allentown, out towards the the Poconos, 67 at this hour in, in the Wilmington area, 65 in Millville. We're right at 66 with abundant sunshine in Wildwood, and the clear conditions will continue straight up through the rest of the afternoon and even into the evening hours. We may see a few high clouds out there, but nonetheless, we're tracking again just great, great conditions for baseball. Let's walk you through the next 12 hours. By 3 o'clock, closer to 3 is when temperatures peak here. We'll climb into the low 70s as we lose the heating of of the day, these numbers begin to drop. The air is very dry, and therefore, we will see these numbers come down very rapidly. So, if you are heading to the game, just make sure to bundle up a couple t shirts and some hoodies. If not, a whole jacket you'll need it if you are planning on heading to the game. Temperatures tonight drop into the upper 40s, so it's going to be clear, calm and cool. Winds will be calm as well. So all in all, a beautiful night, maybe even enough to open up a couple windows. It's going to be a great night, great sleeping weather, and the great conditions continue straight on through the rest of the week. Of course, we have you covered with our game day forecast. We have you covered with the games four, five, and six. Tonight, 8.03. A few high clouds in the sky with temperatures in the middle 60s. By Thursday, we're keeping things nice and clear. Right here at home, we're tracking clear conditions. And then on Saturday, believe it or not, Philadelphia is actually going to be warmer than what it will be in Houston. But nonetheless, this is still not bad. Around 65 degrees on Saturday, partly cloudy skies, feeling a little bit damp, but they should be dry. So that's something to keep in mind if any of you lucky people are heading out to the Lone Star State. Back here at home, it's been warm. I'm sure you felt it, and we're going to continue to feel this warmer air mass locked in place straight on through the weekend. This is what the next seven days look like. How about this for November? By Saturday, Sunday, it's record heat we're challenging, especially on Sunday.